not too late to get crafty for the holidays, whether it's for your decor or maybe a fun gift. Here with fun and creative ideas, the pottery place in Champagne, and Laura Billimac joins us with all sorts of, uh, usually you bring painted pottery, and you have a little right, of that, but right. you brought some unpainted stuff this time, too. That's right. We have a lot of um, samples of ornaments on the trees, and then I did. I brought a lot of unpainted things um, today. It's always a fun time at the pottery place, but December is our favorite because we do just so many ornaments. Tis the season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the ornament choices that you have because you brought some unpainted ones. That's do you want right. to talk about the painted ones or the unpainted ones first? Well, we could talk about both of them, but um, okay. we always have a nice variety. We try to have a little selection of classics and then um, we try like to... Like balls and... <laughs> um, and circles. And, circle. <laughs> and, and baby Yoda down there. And baby Yoda. Um, and then, well, uh, that's a nice lead in because we always try to get a little, little, the little cutting edge, trendy things. And of course, ugly sweaters are trendy. But hold on. Do you see what baby Yoda is made out yes. of, friends? A baby footprint. A baby foot. So we do a Can I lot. Just get started of over here while you're uh, <laughs> talking. We do a lot of footprints this year uh, or every year, and it's and always nice to make them into something. And hand prints, if and you look up here prints. on this one, just a great keepsake yeah, to remember yeah. the year. Those are my favorite ornaments. Is when oh, I'm putting them back up on a tree great. and looking back. I like the bird up there yeah. actually. That, the, the, with the stocking hat, I like that a lot. Yes, yeah. yeah. The, um, it's it's really nice because when I decorate my tree at home, I remember the year you know that the yeah. ornament came from. And then um, you had mentioned that you're a great painter. Yeah, that, that, that was a complete lie, and I'm about to demonstrate that right you know, now. I have heard so many times people say, I love painting, but I rarely hear, I'm a good painter. Oh. Because I think that most people feel like you have to, you know, make a, um, a Mona Lisa yeah. or something like that to be a good painter. But we can, everybody can come to the Pottery Place and, and just enjoy the, the craft of painting it, and you don't have to worry about if it looks yeah. perfect or not. This fire truck may look more like the Mona Lisa than a fire truck. Oh, okay. we'll, well, I would call that. <laughs> I would call it a pickup truck, not a fire truck. But it's going to be red, <laughs> Laura. So it's a fire truck carrying a Christmas tree. <laughs> and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, it is. And yeah. then some of the other options for painting are mm -hmm. a little half-eaten gingerbread mm -hmm. boy or girl, and llamas. Llamas, llamas are, are big. Just, you know what I heard? They're the new unicorn. Oh, that's I did, cool. I did really? Hear, I did hear that. Uh -huh. That makes some sense. I you do see llamas a, more these days, I suppose. On a craft show the other night. And then, of course, the ugly sweater. You can't go wrong with an ugly sweater. That's what I should have painted. <laughs> it's sure to be ugly. <laughs> well, I think on yours, though, it's really only like two colors, red and green. Whereas mm -hmm. on the ugly sweater, you may have to like add a few more colors. Well, I'm somewhat limited with the colors I have to work with here. Yeah. And also, we have like 60 seconds left, right, so I'm right. going to have to hustle on this. You're knocking it out of the park, though. Well, people ask all the time if... That we have enough ornaments and we have so many ornaments and a lot of customers are wondering if they have time to paint before the holiday. So we always have a four day turnaround. So we'll go all the way up until December 21st or 20, 19th. We'll so probably, once you paint, it's going to take four days to it finish it and glaze it. It takes a few days for us to, we put a clear glaze on it and then we run it through our kilns. Yeah. So. Well, I'm thinking you probably just sell this one as it is when you no, get it back to the store. <laughs> Or you can make a fun little plate, like yeah. for cookies for Santa mm -hmm. or something like that. That's okay, right, and right. so are you open over winter break if kids are wanting we to are, we burn are, off some energy? We will be closed for the big day, but then open every other day and works. We have extended holiday hours right now where we are open till 9 p.m. every night. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. okay. I need more colors, Laura. All right, I'm well, we'll out. set you up. We got yellow over there, which would be great for We've got the headlights. It's called Butter Me Up. We've got yeah. Butter Me Up, mm -hmm. buddy. <laughs> can, can my windows and I think they and can stay white. Yeah, they yeah, look great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, okay. we're going to go with that. And he's got his own little 2019 mm -hmm. Christmas ornament. Mm -hmm. If you need any information about what's happening at the Pottery Place, we'll connect you to their Facebook page over on CI Living's Facebook page. Laura, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys, here. too. We love when you come.